Thanks for viewing this video clip of my watercolor demo. This is Frank Costantino. Uh, my, this is my third year uh, as an invited artist for the annual Rose Garden Party sponsored by Mayor Marty Walsh and the Boston Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, the Rose Garden event is a special fundraiser, the 18th of its kind, uh, for uh, creating these beautiful parks around the city of Boston. Here I'm pencil sketching uh, the view, uh, which is a portion of the pretty sizable rose garden area with phenomenal arbors of rose bushes and specialty flowers. The, I'm situated in a shaded area with minimal dappled light uh, not interfering with my drawing. And I'm working on a Lana cold press paper. I've uh, sized the piece. Here you see the view, uh, which I'm hoping to incorporate into my painting. Uh, the view has been pre-sized to a uh, mat and frame uh, in which the final image will be displayed as part of the uh, a later fundraising event. Uh, I'm preparing my watercolor palette and beginning to determine the colors that I'll be using for the central planter. Uh, and because the light is changing so quickly, I'm planning to incorporate some uh, colors uh, in the shaded area of the top part of the central planter. Um, the brush size is something that's very important and the preparation of paints is quite critical. Uh, here you can see a contrast of blues and reds and yellows that uh, suggest some of the shaded and dappled reflected light. Here I'm beginning to prepare uh, the background sky color by applying a clear water wash uh, to uh, create the uh, effects of the sky. I'm working on, uh, on a fairly sizable tilt on my field easel uh, which I use for all my plein air paintings. Uh, the water will help me uh, dilute and uh, also increase the saturation and the chroma of the uh, colors that I choose, cobalt, cerulean blue, a little bit of red. Here you can see the brushwork where I'm uh, applying the tip, the body of the brush, pressing down, uh, in uh, dabbing and um, really s twisting and turning and curling the brush uh, to take advantage of the bristles and the effects that it creates uh, just by the way in which the brush is applied to the surface. Uh, here I'm charging the brush with a little more color uh, and I'm using a smaller brush with just clear water uh, in order to soften those edges uh, and then also to soften the edge against the top of the background tree uh, which uh, will be uh, deeper in color in chroma later. Uh, I'm beginning to prepare some warmer colors uh, to uh, apply a contrasting warm hue for a partial uh, portion of a uh, shed roof uh, that is uh, will provide some visual and color relief from all of the green uh, shrubbery uh, in and around uh, this area of the garden. I prefer to work in a, a very direct method. Here it's a uh, dry brush, uh, charged moist brush onto dry paper uh, and working with a uh, combination of uh, strong colors uh, which I've learned from my mentor and friend Charles Reed. To achieve the hue value and the chroma of uh, a particular area in one pass if possible. Uh, here I'm defining a hard edge of some of the white flowers and uh, roses that uh, will protrude into this area of the painting and uh, you can see the combinations of warm and cools that uh, provide uh, background neutral uh, to uh, this part of the painting. Uh, it's important also to uh, make timely judgments uh, about the hue value in chroma since you're working against a large white field of just the paper. So there's minimal uh, reference for values uh, to make those decisions. Here you can see the background tree uh, with multiple hues uh, painted in. Uh, with a strong edge of cobalt blue uh, around the edge of the white rose shrub which is in the middle of the painting 
and again some of the darker areas in order to establish uh, some depth uh, to the composition and the varied vegetation which is in and around uh, the arbor um, and shrub row shrubs. Uh, I can see more of the dabbing and use of the brush uh, pressing and uh, dabbing and pointing and dragging the brush in order to create certain effects. The judgment for color and high chroma and contrast and saturation and mixing of different hues is really a very difficult process. Uh, it really is a matter of feel, it's a matter of visual interpretation, of the changing light conditions and edges and forms that are part of the complicated process of interpreting any subject in plain air conditions uh, into a painting. Um, the, some of the detail uh, surrounding the main shrub is being put in and here I'm applying the very strong accent colors of uh, the floral planter uh, in a very direct manner. Uh, very striking strong color and here you see the painting coming to some closure now uh, with uh, some additional detail and highlights and contrast and age definition and here is the completed piece thanks for watching everybody and here is a earlier painting of the fountain in the rose garden